What is happening, YouTube? Uh, it is Wednesday, and uh, my name is Joe. Uh, I've been reselling for for a long time. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. Been reselling a long time, so hopefully I can help you out a little bit along my journey. Uh, but we're gonna share some sales. We got some sales between yesterday and today, so this is my daily sales story time and sh sharing sales story time and whatever else pops up we'll we'll talk about but um so far this week we're starting in the right direction i've been posting and posting since last week i finally the wheel starting to turn i feel like a little bit yesterday we had like 200 and i forget it was like 250 i think it was in sales or 230 um from yesterday to today we only had like four sales but we had some good sales so pretty good uh pretty good dollar amounts coming in so stay stick around for that uh a big sale that i i didn't even know about it's the first time i've sold this particular item so uh, i'll show that off here in a minute but um yeah so not a whole lot to go over um i really don't have a whole lot of story time today either um not a lot's happened between yesterday and today uh but we'll show off these sales and if something pops up um then it pops up and we'll talk about it but um definitely want to make sure if you're ever out hunting you you keep an eye for this particular item because i had no idea um so i have folks in town that i've i've made that i've networked with over the years and um i've become a couple folks video game guy not uh, not many it, it's it's you give your number out a lot and you don't get a ton of folks that regularly contact you back about stuff like the guys that do like the clear outs of houses or, you know, storage units or whatever, however they get their, they get their bulk inventory, you know, so then kind of trickles down to the niche, niche categories to, you know, they find certain people that they want to, you know, they, they do business with. So I've connected with a few of those folks um, and I get calls from time to time. Um, and this was a phone call I got like three weeks ago. Um, they, uh, uh, a gentleman and his wife that i do business with regularly they do storage clear outs cl uh, clean outs called me for all the video game stuff that they got so you know I'm, I'm the top guy on their list so that's that's awesome and i typically when i go try to buy all of it because i want to you know want to continue that business and and with them and have them call me because out of the blue you go to call like hey i got a bunch of stuff that's always nice it always seems to come when you really need something um or or you know so so it's uh it's, it's good to have those connections so i've got a few folks in town um that two pretty regular um and a couple others that are, call me every now and again um i'm they may, may not be their main guy but i'm one of their guys so i get calls from the other the other ones a couple times uh here and there throughout the year but these two I'm, I, folks i do business with regularly but anyway so that's where i got this piece i'll show that off here in a moment but we'll go over sales um hopefully your sales are going well mine if uh, i'm not gonna say picked up the number of sales have not picked up but the dollar amount was great because it was some some bigger items so that was always good. So I definitely, I hit goal uh, with this one item for basically two days, which is great. Um, and then last night also a switch sold as well. So I bundle my switches. So we'll start here. We'll start with the switch. So I bundle my switches with, um, with um, everything that they come with originally, typically plus a little extra. So there's a switch. It's coming with a uh case it's got a 64 gig uh sd card in there as well which is extra uh of course you've got your dock you've got your your uh, controller grip uh, your hdmi cable things like that your power cable uh your little joy con triggers always got to have the joy joy con triggers and then a little case for games and things like that so um 230 plus shipping so that's all for 230 plus shipping um Let's see what else we sold. Let me jump on here, actually. Uh, sold a white Xbox controller. Uh, this one, I don't think I did the replacement. I didn't need it, but did a, a Xbox controller. $20 plus shipping. So that sold $20 plus shipping. Anytime I do bundle deals with like game systems, and I, you know, because here's the thing. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday or, you know, I know I've said it before, but my marketplace deals. Um, I always try to flip to a hundred, you know, because it's the down season right now still, well, it's, we're starting to pick up. Obviously yard sales season is, is starting, to, uh, here, uh, light, it'll start picking up. Um, but when it comes to, to, uh, winter time, you know, coming, you know, fall into the winter as the yard sale season slows down and kind of goes, you know, 
super slow uh, in the winter, I typically start picking up my marketplace deals. So that's where I have, I've done a terrible job sharing the deals with you guys. Just so I just picked yesterday, I just picked up a Bose aeronautical aviation headset for like 500 bucks. It resells for like 800. And then I picked up a um, Nintendo switch bundle that came with like 20 games, the switch, uh, the joy con, the extra set of joy cons and all sorts of good stuff for $400. Um, so uh, it, it's, it's the, both of those deals should flip to a few hundred dollars is is uh which which is great but you got to put out more money to flip more money you know it's just the name of the game but uh yeah so that's that's i do a bad job at sharing those deals with you guys i'm gonna try to do a better job of when i get that stuff i've said it before uh to bring it here just pop the camera on and be like hey this is what we got today so i did a deal today this is what blah 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 blah, blah and show off what i got uh, just a different element of, of what we, you know, what I can show you guys because marketplace deals are, they're abundant, man. They're, I mean, I look at it probably two, three, four times a day, maybe more. Cause it's just a matter of popping on, scrolling, updating, and seeing a cup for a minute. It takes just a second and you see something like, Oh, and you shoot a message and, and then you try to make a deal if, if you can. Uh, and then meeting up, I'd meet locally here, which is great within 10 minutes from my house. There's a, there's a, a, a one of the biggest schools in our, in our area. So um it's a just great meeting spot so it works out perfect for me but anyway so i'm saying that to say you know even though yard sales season is not quite in full effect um you know you can still make you know make deals on marketplace and flip on ebay and make you know flip to 100 is, is my thing flip to 100 man flip to 100 so uh anyway this was a this switch was a flip to 100 that i think this switch was one of the ones i just picked up in fact this was the one i picked up yesterday with that lady uh, so this one sold, I picked that deal up for 400, I already sold this for 230. And then I have like 20 games still that I'm sitting on that I got in and in another set of joy cons. So it was, it was a no brainer. Um, those deals come up not all the time, but they come up. So, uh, anyway, shoes. So once the yard sale season picks up, I definitely, I'm saying all that to say, I want to share more of what I pick up. So like, uh, the other aspect of the video to show you guys what I get in the deals. So whether it be yard sales or marketplace deals or estate sales or just a deal with one of the folks that I've got connections with that I go do a pickup there. I want to start sharing that with you guys as well so you can kind of see what my end cost is. So I got this for X. This is what I got. This is where my mindset is on how I'm going to make Z out of it. You know, and so that I think will help you guys too. Um, uh, just kind of identify or see how at least my brain operates and show you how my, my, my you know, so for example, this was a $400 deal. I knew right off the bat, each game goes for about $15, $20 and there's 20 of them. That's 400 bucks, give or take just the games. And then this will sell for 220 ish, 230 ish, which it did. So there's, you know, for this deal, it was six, 630 to six, 630 to 700. That's at 20 bucks a game. Some of the games were like 35, 40. Some of them are like 15, you know, but the average is about 20, 25 dollars. So, you know, my, I should be able to profit when it's all said and done two to 250 when it's, you know, and so that's where my mind, my gears go and my mind's like, oh, it starts adding up this, 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 because I already know what stuff kind of goes for. So am I going to be off a little bit? Always. That's why you give yourself enough cushion, enough wiggle room. Um, you know, in cases where the deal is really like the margins are very slim, that's when I'll break out like price charting or eBay and kind of break down each thing and see what the actual price is. And, and, and then, you know, but those typically are bigger collections or, are, or something that I really want, but I know that they want too much. So then I break down the price that way. And I'm like, Hey, you know, you want 400, this stuff's only worth 400. I can only go in like 250, you know, 200 really, um, you know, typically half. So 200. And so then, you know, just, so though it, it's just a strategy, you know, sometimes people just ask way too much. And so you have to kind of show them like, this is what it's worth. And I will show them the price charting breakdown and then we can kind of try to make a deal from there. But anyway, marketplace deals, uh, when the good ones come up, I, I usually just quick, quick, quick in my head. Oh, that's a good deal. I can already tell. And then, okay, okay. There's, I got wiggle room, 50, hundred dollar wiggle room kind of thing. So that way I know if I don't quite get a, you know, I can at least get, you know, I'm thinking get three, but I get two. I'm good with that. Anyway, these, uh, so I'll start showing more of those uh, as I pick up and as the yard seals season goes, I'll do more of that and show you guys. Uh, and then you guys tell me whether I did good on picking up or not, whether it was a good pickup or not. I like, I like criticism. Uh, but anyway, these Nikes went for 30, I believe 32 plus shipping. Let me confirm that with you. Uh, 38 plus shipping. Those went for 38 plus shipping. So here's the big, the big daddy. 
Um, I, I had no idea. Um, I don't do virtual reality. So, and I, and although I'm a, I'm, I sell video games, I collect video games. I don't play many anymore. I do a little bit, but I'm certainly not into the VR stuff. Well, I had no idea. I had no idea that, um, HTC had a VR. Well, now you know. If you didn't know either, I had no idea. Well, this was the, the folks that I do deals with. They called me up and they had a whole bunch of likes, um, Wii U games and Nintendo and Game Boy Advance and stuff like that. So I bought all that. Then he was like, hey, I got this virtual reality thing. It seems like it goes for a lot of money. I think he wanted like a hundred bucks for it. I was like, I'll take a shot on it. I looked it up quickly and I was like, dang, these things are kind of, that's wild. So I was like, I'll take a shot on it. You know, I'll figure it out. And um, so on top of the games, I also got, which paid for everything. And then I also got this, which again, the games pay for all of it. But these are virtual reality. These, they like strap onto places on your body. Um, and then these are little USB, uh, little USB. I don't know exactly what they're for, but little USB things for it as well. Um, HTC makes this. So these sensors... And then you got a body one, a body strap one. So this one goes on your you know, waist or whatever the case is. It's a body strap one. Uh, HTC Vive, I think is what it's called. Um, I've got the virtual, I got the headset as well. That that I didn't sell. That's separate. I, I, I've separated it for parts uh, or separated it into parts. Um, the guy told me it all worked. So I'm going with the fact that it all works. Um, but anyway... That sold for $425. I mean, I was just like, when I looked it up and seen the prices on these things, if you got the complete thing with the with the head, which I have the headset, that headset's on for $125 or $150. Then I've also got the joysticks. And mind you, this was only a $100 deal that was added to the deal I got with the video games, which the video games paid for all of it. So this is technically was paid for. But it's also got joysticks that are going for about $125 a piece. And there's two of them. So there's the two joysticks, 125 a piece. I just put this stuff up like three days ago, uh, two days ago, and this already sold. So once it's all said and done, the joysticks, another 250, the headset, another 150, that's about another 400 there. It's wild, like $800 for this little VR thing, which blows me away. If you ever see the VR HTC Vive, I think it is, pick it up. It's worth it. You know, even a couple hundred bucks, it's worth it to pick it up. Um, and there's a newer model too. So this was the older model, um, but they're still, it's wild. So anyway, that's it. I'm gonna pack and ship. Uh, I'm gonna pack and ship. Mail lady should be here shortly. I'm gonna go grab me some lunch. So if you if you've, if you stuck around this long, if you like Jersey Mike's, what sub you go for when you're at Jersey Mike's? I think yesterday I went roast beef. Today I'm gonna go back to turkey, probably turkey. Although I haven't had tuna in a while, but hopefully your sales are going well. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, well, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll see what sells, but, um, enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.